start this noon with the Republican National Convention getting underway just two days after a man attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. The former president is also celebrating a legal win this afternoon. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Courtney Robinson. I'm Frank Wiley. Security is increased for this week's RNC as well. I want to give you this live look at the stage that is in Milwaukee. In just hours, Trump is expected to officially be named the Republican nominee. The former president plans to be there tonight with a crowd of supporters. Here's Sabrina Franza. Former President Trump gave his now signature fist pump as he arrived in Milwaukee Sunday night for the Republican National Convention. It's the same fist pump he gave in the aftermath of Saturday's assassination attempt and his Pennsylvania rally. The former president told the Washington Examiner he looked away from the crowd at the last second, and that is what saved his life. President Trump is waking up this morning doing very well, uh, feels very fortunate to be alive, and as he said, it's only by the grace of God that he's even still with us. Trump also said he's completely rewritten his convention speech following the shooting. The message that President Trump is coming out of this is very simple. We have to unite America. We have to unite the country. President Biden delivered a similar message in an Oval Office address Sunday night. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. Trump says he will announce his vice presidential pick today, which is said to be down to three choices. CBS News was outside the home of Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as government vehicles took him to the airport Monday morning. Former President Trump is expected to take the stage later this evening after a roll call of delegates officially makes him the Republican presidential nominee. Some delegates here also have security on their minds. With the security at convention, I'm fully reliant on other people to keep me safe. I can't have my own firearm here with me. The Secret Service says its convention security plan has been in the works for 18 months and it's prepared for any event. And Florida will be the state that pushes Trump to the number of delegates needed for the nomination. Three of his children, Donald Jr., Eric and Tiffany, are part of the Florida delegation. In the last